Hello and welcome to this one-on-one -on -one sports webcast. My name is Joe DiRienzo and I'm joined by two NHL resident experts, Natalie Beach and Brennan McGovern. Guys, the Caps had a great start this year going 7-0 to start the season, but can they keep it up and go deep in the postseason? I think this is the Caps year. I think that starting 7-0 really proves that this is when everything is coming together. All the players finally have the right experience with the playoffs. The offense is coming together with Ovechkin, Semin, Backstrom, and I think the defense is finally there with Car Carlson well, and Alsner. They, st they started off 7-0, but then they lost their last two games, including I mean, a 7-4 including a loss in Vancouver, which leads me to my point. The, in hockey, the biggest position, especially during the playoffs, is goaltending. You can't get anywhere without good goaltending. So, so far they've had it, minus that one game in Vancouver. No one's going to go 82-0. Like, that's, I, I, that's unrealistic. I know. Like, I, they're going to lose I, I, totally, I totally agree. But we all know that Ovechkin and Backstrom and company, that we know they can put pucks in the net. The biggest thing is going to be, can Thomas Vokun keep the pucks out of the net on the other I end agree of the that ice? the Caps kind of have been weak in goaltending in the past, but I think I think Vokun has got it. I think they have some younger guys for backup. I think they'll be okay. I think this is the year that all, everything's coming together. Goaltending is what let them down in the postseason last year. Let's see if, like you said, the goaltending can keep it up this season. Now, moving along to some injury problems. Chris Pronger had an ugly injury this last week, getting hit in the face with a puck. And he's one of the few players that does not play with a visor. So... What do you guys think? Should they require the NHL players to have visors, or is it fine to leave it alone? Well, obviously it was a horrible injury to Chris Pronger taking that stick to the eye, but I don't... Personally, if it were me on the ice, I'd want the full goalie mask on at all times. When, you know, and I think any player playing a sport where there's pucks and sticks and elbows flying at your face the whole time would, but they choose not to wear the visors. I don't think the NHL should require it, but I think most players should think, what's the smartest decision? Is it worth losing an eye over. The NHL already has uh, such a reputation for being the fighting, ha heavy contact sport. I think that a lot of fans will lose interest if it becomes just a boring game with no kind of, uh, not that they'd ever get rid of hitting completely, but if everyone's wearing like a full suit of armor, like it might just be boring. I, I don't think it should be required, but I'll say this, I don't think, uh, I don't think Chris Pronger will ever skate again without wearing the visor on his face. Yes, and, and I think it, it might be reasonable considering they've had so much negative media between that and Crosby, but I, I just don't think it's realistic to ever. I don't know. In a league where they're making concussion safety such a big deal, putting a visor on someone's face seems like an easy decision to me. Now, speaking of concussions and Sidney Crosby, he is looking to make his comeback this season after being out for so long with that concussion. How big of an impact do you think he's going to have with the Penguins when he comes back? I think at first his, his impact will be with the media. I think he'll bring a lot of attention to the sport, uh, draw some headlines, but I don't think he'll actually be a big star for the Penguins until possibly the end of the season at the earliest. I think it's, he's been out for too long. I think he certainly won't be as prolific a scorer as he has been in the past, but what he's going to do best and what he has always done best is set up his teammates and put them in place to win. If they put him on a line with James Neal, who already has nine goals just 14 games into the season, he's... Go, they're going to be poised to make a great cup run. They already have. But they, if they don't really need him, then like then they he don't, they don't need him to be setting it up. They've already established their own team. Not that they won't let Crosby back onto it, but I just don't think. <laughs> I mean, he's the captain. He, exactly, he's the best player in the I world. Do, I don't think I they're going to kick him off. That's debatable. But I don't well. think that I don't think that that's going to. I don't think he's going to be the only one setting things up. I think other players have already started to take. Oh, I totally agree. Role. Chris Letang has ten assists on the season. The Penguins are poised to win, but I think Crosby will make a huge impact late in the season. He may be one of the most skilled players in the league, but no one comes back that quickly with no rust to show. That's all the time we have for today, but to check, be sure to check out our other webcast this week in which our experts play Take Your Pick in college football and wrap up the MLB postseason. Here at One on One Sports, the question always remains, whose side are you on?